What's up everybody? Um, gonna make a short video today. I woke up, did some things I had to get done and realized I had maybe two hours to myself and I haven't been outside too much to enjoy the weather. I've been outside, but it hasn't been enjoyable as it's been, you know, single digits for a while. But today I looked outside, it was nice out and it says now that it's 46 degrees. I don't know how right that is, but it's definitely warmer. And I was thinking, I need to get outside and do something. What could I do? Hmm. I don't know. Let's go fishing. But um, I remember I was looking the other day for something, and I found these. I know that GoPro is not really going to focus on that well, but it says HJF on it. That is a hook jaw floats. My buddy Dawn makes them. And um, I actually won a bunch of these about three or four years ago in a giveaway he was doing and I realized I've never used these. They're so pretty and you know just well made and I'm like, you know what? Let's go use them. And I then realized I haven't center pin fish in 3 or 4 years. So um I don't know. Just decided it would be fun to try it again. Um the water is up for sure. Um definitely 100% could use a fly rod and catch fish, but I don't know. I just want to stand at the head of a hole and drift one of these by and um, I don't know, maybe a trout will come up and like our offering, think our drift is pretty cool and take a hit. I don't know. That's usually what happens, but I'm just excited to get out and center pin. I, like I said, I haven't done it in four years, so I'm probably going to be a little rusty. I don't even, I kind of remember how to set it up, but I'm probably going to have to play with the weight a little bit. This is a five gram. And you can see it's short and stout, which is good for moving water. I think that's how it went. Um, I was pretty good with a center pin there a while ago, but uh, I believe this is the one you want for like a little bit faster water, which is, it's not fast, but it'll be moving water maybe six to seven feet deep. Really good winter hole here um, for fish to be holding in. I was here a couple weeks ago with my fly rod the last time I fished, and I actually got skunked in this hole. But I think with these floats and a center pin, I think we'll get one. So let's get out there and um, catch a fish. Not the best at picking up detail, but here's what I got. I got a five gram float, a SSG or number, I think it's a number five equivalent, depending on what metric system you use, I guess. So I have two of those SSGs. Then I have two BBs here and then one BB here to my swivel to a squirmy worm. Now, <clears throat> normally I would put a AAA right here, like a triple A shot, number seven maybe is the equivalent. I don't remember, but I don't have any. I just realized, like I said, it's been so long since I've even opened this um, center pin setup I had, but um, I'm gonna try to make do. Is that enough weight? I don't know. Is it too much? Maybe, but here's what I'm using, an Akuma. I mean, this thing's old, Aventi, Aventa, I think. An old, uh, what is this a guide series classic so that guide series is from um what was i gander mountain um and it's a michigan handle so it actually has a real seat right here but i hate it down here i like to be up here so i just put some grip tape over it moved it up here which is fairly easy it's a 10 foot six light action uh i'll adjust the weight as needed i'm excited to get in there and try i don't remember the name of this it, like i said it's been like four years it's a high viz I think it's a 12 pound main line down to a blood knot. And I'm this is eight pound mono. And then after my swivel to my fly would be four pound Sagar fluoro. So let's get dressed and uh, go catch fish. The water's definitely up a little. Um, a little bit of color, but actually not as much color as I thought it would have, but it, it's perfect. So we're going to go up to that hole that's right up there. Right, so normally I would start right about right here, cast above me and fish upstream with a fly rod, probably an indicator. Uh, but today with the center pin, it's the exact opposite. We're gonna stand up there and get long drifts all the way down through here. I think the fish are sitting right in here, but we're gonna go up to the head of the hole 
and just drift down and uh i hope no one makes fun of me for uh my center pin skill i actually haven't casted this in i don't know like i said about four years so uh first let's test this float see if we have enough weight yeah so i think we're good there just to the tip of it i'm gonna try to cast this like i said it's been a while i'll try a wallace oh well, actually got it out there pretty well let's see what happens on the first drift so that's what i thought was going to happen i have those euro flies and they have weight on them so it's going to sink pretty slow and you want that j you know you want your float there we go in center pin and you want your float to kind of aim back at you meaning your flies ahead of it but with those euro floats i use uh tungsten weight on them so they're not always going to be the best for this but i think it'll work it's actually nothing on that drift there bring her back in here let's try another one a little bit not as far out this time might be hugging this seam so what i'm doing is i'm trotting i think is what you call it i'm just holding the line tight right now until there we go and that float just kind of aims back towards me guys <laughs> looking in the camera i don't know if that was a take or if i hit a rock i don't know i think it was a fish felt like it. all right so let's try that again that's why i stopped making videos i watched the the camera more than the flow but here we go we got it pointed back at me right about there is where that take was and that is probably definitely a fish because that's the hole i don't think he's going to take it again but no right, let me uh let me just go out a little bit further there we go and like i said i'm holding that line tight allowing that squirming to get out ahead of it kind of remember how to do this but no you do is there's no drag on this i'm sure everybody knows just kind of hold your finger on the reel i don't know if that's a fish oh yeah we got a fish looks like a big one not big but that's decent man i can't this drag's different there's no drag on it so i'm just kind of palming it and like i said it's been so long since i've done this well that's good that didn't take too long it's like a nice rainbow feels so big on this rod like i said you kind of just see my finger working to drag i'm sure everybody knows how to use one man it's been a while this rod's not nearly as sensitive as what i'm used to so i couldn't tell if that was the bottom but it's definitely a fish what was that our third drift maybe well we had a take i wasn't paying attention so let's try to net this guy Got a good fight for how cold the water is. that's a beautiful fish all right there we go i don't know that i want to touch him too much this water's freezing there's a squirmy right in the mouth and there he is beautiful fish all right let me get him off and i'll get you to really all right well here's that fish it's absolutely freezing in here i don't want to get him out too long so it's like he was we got a bird mark on him i'm not real sure but just a perfect drift down through the head of the hole I'd say that's about a 15 16 inch fish pretty clean rainbow yeah let's get him back in the water there don't really want to hold him out too long because uh i don't know that water's colder than the air today but uh either way it was a pretty quick release my hands are cold but hey that was good that's the first fish on a uh center pin in all right so very next cast after that release a little wallace like i said i'm just trot i think it's called trotting where you just hold the line like right here and i'm watching that float as it i can tell when the fly in this case a squirmy gets past it and once it starts pointing back i'll just very lightly depending on the speed of the water oh i don't know if that's a fish i think we're ticking bottom let's the good thing about this too is this all slides i think we want to go just a little shallower so let's go about seven eight inches shallower there all right well i believe the squirmy served its purpose i threw one or two more drifts with nothing but here's a woolly bugger a white one and it's the very few flies i have that has a brass bead so it's not real heavy 
So it should do the uh, the drift a little better. As you can see, it's floating there. Um, let's get it a little wet. A little bit deeper with the float. And we'll just trot it a little bit. Right in there is where we're getting them takes. No, it couldn't have been just one fish there. I don't think. You never know, but I don't think. Try a couple nymphs if this doesn't work. That's the deeper water out there. It's just... Water's moving pretty good out there. That's why I think they're on the sides. I like it. I like it. Oh, come on. How is there not a fish sitting there? It's like a good drift there again. Now we're way over on the other side. I haven't hit over there yet. I can't really tell what's over there. It could be snags. It could be shallow. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if there's a fish. Right there is where I want to be. We haven't hit there yet. Kind of got to let it go so I don't pull it back towards me. Ugh, kidding me? Just occurred to me that I have not tried this yet. The mob fly. So I didn't want to have to use the heavy artillery, but I want another fish. So if they don't take this, they're not eating anything. <laughs> now I have confidence in the mop. I don't use it too much, but when I was first learning a Euro Nymph, that's all I'd use. It casted really nice. It doesn't drift the best, but you can get pretty accurate on your cast. And it does catch fish. Let's see here. I think this water is just really cool. My feet are numb already. The air is really nice, but uh, I like to give these a little squeeze sometimes. Just get that water soaked in on them. All right, come on. And this is weighted. All my flies are weighted, so I don't know if it would work better not weighted with just maybe a little split shot closer to it, but I don't know. Come on, we got the mop fly on. Good drift down through there. I mean, come on. It's not our day. We got one. Thought we stirred the hole up. I mean, I've made a few fly changes. I Let's go a little deeper. A little deeper. I think just a little bit deeper. Pretty easy to do. I'll just slide that right up there, that hook jaw float. Throws there. I kind of like that spacing. You know, you just taper your split shot down. It's tapered pretty good. We probably went down another six or eight inches. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, a little deeper. Got to be something there. Gotta be. There's one. Finally. I knew the mop fly would do it. Oh, you son of a bitch. That hook broke. Let's see what happened here. I can't really tell. No, the hook didn't break. We had one. Let's see here. That was our second one of the day. 
a lot of ice floating down now so I think the water's getting colder like I said my feet are freezing a lot of ice starting to float down so I'm sure that's melting I was just about to change the mop to something small and that guy grabbed it he wasn't a big fish probably 15 14 another rainbow damn it oh he got me again I was looking in here at you oh oh goodness up man right here let's slow this thing down a little bit like pinky said let's just slow this down grab the damn thing nah, it's not the hook or nothing all right well that's good two two takes on the last two drifts all right slowing it down there we go i think what it is is i moved that float up about another eight inches which allowed it to go just a little deeper I think we found the depth we want to be at and I was looking in the camera and I looked up and the float was gone I set the hook and I felt one or two head shakes and it was gone right in there is about where those last two took it so let's see I think they're on to us uh, yeah nothing okay Okay. Right. It's just awkward. I'm just not used to it. But it definitely is a good way to get a great long drift. I mean, these drifts are nice. Never be able to do this with a fly rod for me. Some of you probably can, but... I'm a short striker, that's why I like the Euro Nymph. This is nice, you don't even really have to move, kind of more or less you trot the line, you can pull it into the seam better. Try one more over there and then I'm gonna size down. Well, I haven't tried a Nymph yet, but uh, I didn't really think we'd wanna use a Nymph in this. Water's up, but I don't know, maybe a black nymph. We'll see here. Let's see if we can get another one, man. This I told you I knew as soon as I put on that mop, something was good. They just can't resist that mop. Even if they're not hungry. <laughs> Alright, come on. It's right where we want to be. Slowing it down. Slowing it down. Ugh. Nothing. Do I change to a nymph or do I keep doing this? Oh, goodness. Let's try one more with the mop. Let's just try one more and then I'm going to switch to a smaller nymph. That was a terrible cast, but we can make it work. There we go. Now we got about where we want to be. I'm not really slowing it down a whole lot just because I know there's so much weight. Ah. I don't know. I don't think I was a fish, but like I said, this rod is not sensitive. It's like a, compared to what I'm used to, it feels like a, a broomstick. So I can't tell if those are fish or if I just tick the, I don't think it's the bottom though. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I don't know if I want to switch or not now because I don't know if that was a fish. Let's try a couple more. This battery on the GoPro is dying too because it's cold out. All right, well, unfortunately, my GoPro died. Had some fun with the center pin. Definitely say I would need to uh, <clears throat> get a couple more days with it, but I think I would do pretty well. Uh, it was fun, though. It was. It was different, which is, is nice. I think I'm going to take it out again tomorrow. Um, just try to... I uh, wish I had more weight selection, like my split shots or... I don't know. It'll work, but... um. Had a great time. I think I fished another couple of drifts. I think I fished an hour total. Caught one, missed two, I think. But uh, it wasn't really the the best day today. I mean, it was it was cold. Um, the air wasn't, but the, the water was. But I mean, either way, it was fun. And I think I'm gonna probably use it again tomorrow. Um, just to my advantage. I mean, you don't have to move too far to fish it, and it's just fun. Um, I'm definitely not giving up urine nymphing um i'll be back doing that probably within 
next time or two I go. It's just nice to switch it up. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I know it's short, it's sweet, hopefully, but um, I don't know. I'm just trying to get out on the water and have some fun. So um, hopefully you guys are doing the same. And I think we'll have another video with that uh, center pin coming right up soon.